just post my name up la. I lack attention eh. Yeah, I really lack attention. 16-year-old Xavier Ong is paying the consequences of his actions two months ago. The Outram Secondary School student made headlines last November when he tweeted a picture of his O-level social studies examination papers cover page a full 13 minutes before the exam started. The result? The Singapore Examinations and Assessments Board has given Xavier a T for all of his subjects. A T means termination of results due to exam misconduct. The outcome was the T, yeah, the termination of all the papers. So you got a T for everything? Everything, yeah. Okay. T means? Um, termination. A, okay, so it, it's a zero or something? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and how do you feel about it? You're smiling. Well, <laughs> no, it's kind of like expected because when 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 I was looking at the consequences possible, you know, includes barring from future papers and then yeah, termination of this time this this round lah. So actually, from what I heard, they say I could still retake this year, so it's not as bad as I actually thought it would be. So are you scared about what next? E, just a little confused, like, oh no, shit, what am I going to do next? But more or less, I think, not such a very, very big deal after all. Uh. Your mom was there too. Uh, what was her reaction? He you say, you'll be getting a tea for everything. I was like, okay. Then you say, no, no, I'm just trying to see if we can request to at least know your results. Yeah, then I'm like, oh, okay. A total of 37,655 school candidates sat for the 2010 GCE O-Level examination and unlike Xavier, 99.8% of them have been awarded certificates. Despite his brush with infamy, Xavier made headlines again last week for tweeting that he drove a car even though he is below the legal age of 18. I was in my, in my mom's car next to my colleague. Yeah, he came to drive my mom's car and then we went for supper. But then again, I do not know why, like the previous time that tweet of an old level thing, I just went on like, hi, I'm driving, like, hi, I'm driving, and I come out with stories. And then my friends were like, okay, I shall help you, you know, like, let's make this entertaining. Xavier said he was surprised to get so much attention for his tweets and said, people should not believe everything they see online. Well, I, I think this is like something that people say online. So now if I'm going to like tweet that, hi, I'm on drugs, or like what I did last night, I just crashed my helicopter into Singapore River. Are you going to come arrest me because of such stuff? It's nonsense. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you trying to say that whatever we use, whatever we tweet or whatever uh, we say on Facebook is uh, not to be taken? Not to be seriously? taken that seriously. Well, you're online after all. You're like blocked. You're like between a screen two screens, computer screen, so you never know, you know, like, probably this can send as a warning to like those people that are like doing online chat with other people, you never know who's behind that screen, yeah. Many people have condemned Xavier's actions, saying he's just out to seek attention. For example, Stomp a Nutcase said, he's nothing more than an attention-seeking brat to me. I hope one day he learns how important education is. And Stomper Marino Suk said, I seriously hope my kids won't end up like him by the time they turn 16. I'll make sure about that. He's every parent's nightmare. But Xavier says he's not affected. Not really, because I feel that partially it's my fault anyway. Like, I tweeted those stuff, so how people want to look at it is like their business. But as long as I'm happy with myself, actually. Yeah. So are you happy with yourself now? Huh? I'm not sad with myself. <laughs> Xavier may not have an O-level certificate, but he insists that he has a bright future ahead of him. Find out more in the next clip.